I'm back. Welcome to my third vlog. Today, I feel like sharing with you guys one of my unforgettable events. And believe me, you may find this story a bit skeptical and childish. Still, I must say that this experience has left me a valuable lesson in managing finance. Before all else, as you may know or not, I'm something they call a fangirl. I'm interested in Korean culture and I stand a boy group named EXO. Basically, there's an abundance of things that a fangirl would do to support her idol, like streaming music, purchasing merch, and promoting them on various platforms. So, this was in my 12th grade, and I still remember vividly that it was about time for the national high school exam. Actually, it's around two months right before that decisive event. They announced that their comeback date would be on 7 of June 2021 and commonly a few weeks ahead of that official day, the fandom is likely to pre-order the album to stimulate the sale rate of the physical edition. So what made this comeback special is that it was their last comeback as a group before my bias enlistment. And we will have to wait literally a long time to see them together again. As a result, I naturally want to fully support them as much as possible. So, I came to the, de the decision of buying all four versions of that album, which means full edition, even though I'm not that well off. Up till now, I don't know where I had the guts to come to that decision. Well, I have gone so far to draw back, therefore, I started saving money for my acquisition. First of all, I suppose the quickest way is to set aside my pocket money. During the previous months of the 7th of June, I cut down on my shopping, turned out on my friends' invitations to hang out, and I tried my best to prevent myself from notching after school time. Then, as it is the end term upcoming, I studied intensively with a view to getting a higher scholarship. Things end up not so bad. I saved two-thirds of the sum I need. Plus, unhappily, I had to borrow some from my best friend. As a matter of fact, my hasty decision had called out my overdrawn habit. I realized that it's essential to spend reasonably. Sometimes I'm kind of extravagant on unnecessarily expense and then miserably live on the bread line. So having learned my own lesson, I figured out the six jars of financial management which I found really helpful, especially for a newbie like me to start from scratch on the road to becoming a wise financial manager. So, back to my story. I was certainly content with having those albums. But on the other hand, I realized how poor I was in spending wisely. Indeed, I believe that having a good financial management is required not only for growing up with monthly incomes, but also for young adults as well. Oh, I wish I could tell you guys more about my favorites, but this video is a bit over length. So see you guys in my next video. Bye!